Slicker than a savage, symbiote ravage off instinct, flesh rip, pink teeth, sink skin flare. Decapitator, Eve is the devil in hell's kitchen, red tights but with eyesight, Taro said all night, Kyle includes all races when he choose to refuse, GTQ, dudes lose who talk fruit to us, dictate we must, like this mucus, tunnel Jew us, am I concussed? Yeah, Kyle's hook buffs, doggy bout to give the bone rough, bite for gruff, see he salty cause Korean beauty rape every ugly easily, greasily, ESG niggas front and pushing my button so I just Spit my piece, love this crease, trigger tie a new neck piece, sales increase, pack and everybody want it, stellar blade flaunt it, that equal bullshit, we on it. One of the philosophical musings I find poignant comes from scholar and knight, Sir Mixalot, and he posits, I like big butts, and I cannot lie. You other brothers, can't deny that when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Are you heading home? Be careful. <laughs> Hello, beta testers. <laughs> like this video and comment or correct me below, but Stellar Blade does what all this uh, ESG woke new normal modern gaming garbage does not, and that's appeal at a glance. So, regardless of how far up there Larry Fink is giving it to some of these dudes that uh, are preferring men, but for some reason feel that they need to speak on behalf of the industry with their glorified ruler holding asses, they don't speak for me. They don't speak for the target audience, and their business incompetence is exactly why they're boy, as it pertains to Alex from Digital Foundry. Uh, I do think the character model was actually like very distracting and not a good way. What the hell else am I gonna do, right? Just to get the word out for, for to, in the hopes of finding somebody rational enough to be like, my God, <laughs> look at this shit. Digital Foundry dropped a video yesterday uh, reacting to Stellar Blade. Oh, oh this is great. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 really? Oh, and here go the comments. <laughs> As it pertains to the guy who went to prey on this overweight black woman with green hair that he was asking the opinion of an attractive woman in a video game, he, uh, he'd been ratioed for like days on Twitter. Getting laughed at by Asmund Gold, this guy took the time to edit a video to confirm his bias with the uneducated fucking people that he's gonna show everybody share the same dented head philosophy as he does, where depending on how offended everybody is by everything, things should change. He's not March Simpson, and he's definitely gonna beat that pedo projection allegation that he keeps hiding in all of his fucking tweets. It's just so fucking stupid. Why do you want attention for being the guy arching your back on your knees that hard? But, hey, look, man, you know, some people got a humiliation kink, and I'm just glad that he can get his rocks off the best way he knows how. I was infinitely tickled by Normie Destiny lover Paul Tassi of Forbes' assertion that every interview that he sees for Stellar Blade just has the dev going, yeah, look, people like hot people, I like hot people, so I made a game with a hot person in it. But you know why it threatens them, don't you? So I took the opportunity to share my favorite picture of Jason Schreier, who has big fucking problem with a studio not reflecting the fucking diversity rainbow that he seems to need. Again, I'm black. And I preferred when the games were a little more Arkham Knight and a little less Sushi Squad. But that's just me. I take the time to show you people like Stacy Henley, not because I'm trying to shame anybody or have a problem with how anybody identifies. My problem is not and will never be with what these people are. It is with how they act. 
this person gives so much of a shit that you modding a game to make characters more attractive is a big problem. They're going to write a big article about it. And how dare this adult woman decide to star in advertisements spotlighting her body that she puts hard work into. How dare this game that's older than you have been a games journalist actually throw the bone to the fans, pun intended, by giving them the OG cami outfit. But you've got a problem with that. And lest you motherfuckers forget Hogwarts Legacy, the game that sold the most, that you dare not mention at your advertisement show that you're calling Game Awards, when all of you were super mad that the boycott didn't go your way, we remember you harassing, spoiling, and canceling streams that would have sent more money to transgender causes you are so self-serving it's all about you it's all about division it's all about othering but when we look at this article that i have preserved you're the one dismissing the cisgender person it's just a white girl crying how dare that be the big news so, in the same way that Sweet Baby representatives retweeting me saying I must be musty and right wing and that you, beta tester, are an audience of nobody, they regard you as nobody because you do not align with their sensibilities. Because you disagree, you are nobody. In the same way that I am blocked by Insomniac Games on Black History Month, even though they're locking the comments and playing their amplifying voices, when I respond with my favorite quote as I was asked, and it's a quote from senior creative director Brian Intahar, a clip that maybe you've seen on my stream. Give people stuff you know they want so you can inject things yeah. that maybe they aren't familiar with or maybe they don't know they want but make them like that stuff. This clip of what he said, a figurative mirror, was all it took for me to be blocked. So hopefully that message rings loud and clear. If you disagree, you are useless. Nobody. Pretty big talk from people too scared to mention the best-selling game of last year. PC users. Xbox players. I'm well aware disposable income does not fall from the sky and I'd never ask you to purchase something that you're not going to get any use out of, but you can comment on this video. You can subscribe and like, you can find anybody going on about this and just push their message up because I feel the more eyes that this reaches, the better it will do. And so significant do I consider Stellar Blade as a stepping stone in, in the right direction. And I'll be the first to light its ass on fire if it doesn't stick the landing and deserves the fire. But, but, with two T's, you're gonna see seething like you can't imagine. Power World, Hogwarts, nothing. These people have worked to downgrade, diminish, and regress. They claim to include, they exclude, they claim progress. This is everything but. These are the individual entities endeavoring to exert control over you and your art. The art that they're graffitiing nice and hard before it can ever reach your eyes. You vote with your wallet, beta tester. In an interview, Kim Young Tae of Shift Up said, Honestly, when I play a game, I would like to see someone who is better looking than myself. That's what I want. I don't want to see something normal. I want to see something more ideal. I think that it's very important in a form of entertainment. This is, after all, entertainment targeted for adults. Naturally, my desire that some people consider just throwing money this thing's way even if they can't use it is something I wish only for people with disposable income. Everything's expensive and it's only going to get worse. But I realize that entertainment in the West is entertainment in name only. And it is my belief that some people are going to feel naturally, organically, that this may be worth fighting for. What does that mean? It means that you can subscribe, you can like, not just me, but anybody signal boosting this game. Because I believe that if it just reaches eyes, it will give some people a taste of something that maybe they'd like to see more of. 
And in that regard, I do feel that anybody talking about this, negative or otherwise, is promoting it. <laughs> I'll leave you with this. Kim Young Tae, the guy in charge of making Stellar Blade, was also the main artist for Blade and Soul and Magna Carta. A guest artist for Soul Calibur and Magic the Gathering, his wife not only cosplayed, but also works in the studio as an artist. I'll say more later. But the closer I get to 100,000, the less I'm going to feel like I need to pull my punches around here. I'm showing you. It's not about the audience. It's not about the reach. It's not about the pull. It's about who and how they speak that gets right under these creatures' skins. How can you look at a digital woman and be so insecure in yourself that you're threatened? Well, when the feminist writers are so lazy that they're admitting to writing multiple men insecure and throwing in toxic masculinity in your game and making femme fatale characters little kids and it's not, you know, sweet babyified, right? It's not, it is, it's just not enough. You got to keep going, right? But now, uh, even though the men can present feminine, that's okay. The women being feminine, that's not okay. You can't even present a passable person because it needs to telegraph that it's a trans person, meaning they need to be rough. They need to be in the middle. It wouldn't be a pretty girl that you need to have tell you that they used to be a dude. No, it's, you know what I mean? So this hypocrisy, bro, it's just going to wash over you literal dogs. So while the beta testers are eating the popcorn, and I call them that because you force these unfinished products upon them without their consent. They paid for a deception. They can eat that popcorn while you're eating each other. Brace for layoffs. I don't cheer, but I see what you cheer for. I'm sorry that Eve couldn't be a bear. Sarcasm. We ain't sorry. We're embarrassed for you. Pull your pants up. Thank you to the patrons, to the subscribers, and to anybody liking or commenting. I appreciate you. Comment on this video whenever with any update or development that you want me to cover. I read these because you matter. <laughs> they said nobody. God damn.